Right, let's look at example 21. The room has two doors at the corners, right over here and here. There are nine fixed chairs labeled A, B, C, up to I in the room and line up against the wall. Nine girls are to be seated in the room, one on each chair. How many ways can this be done? Since there are no restrictions to the position that the girls are to be seated, so essentially there are nine factorial ways to arrange these nine girls. Next, find the number of ways which they can be seated if two particular girls cannot be seated on any of the four chairs next to the door. Let us first identify the four chairs next to the door. They are C, D, F and G. So if these two girls cannot be seated next to the door, then we only have A, B, E, H and I to place the two girls. So the number of ways to arrange these two girls would be the five seats. We choose two of the seats and then we can permit it the position of these two girls, hence the two factorial, which gives us 20 when we multiply the two values together. So once we have fixed the two girls, we have actually seven seats remaining. In other words, these seven girls, I can randomly allocate a seat for them, which gives us a seven factorial if we permitted them. So the total number of ways will be 20 multiplied by seven factorial, which gives us 100,800. Now some of you when you are doing this question you might think of the complementary method however in this case it's not advisable because some of you will think of the wrong complementary method which is the number of ways is equivalent to the total number of ways minus away the number of ways where the two girls are seated on the chairs next to a door however if you do it this way it means that you allow one of the girls to sit next to the door because you only minus away the possible cases whereby the two girls sit next to the door. And that's the reason why when you use this method, you still include the case whereby one of the girls will sit next to the door. Alright, just uh, make sure that whenever you do a complementary method, think through before you use the method. Right, let's look at part B. Find the number of ways which they can be seated if two particular girls cannot be seated next to each other against the same wall. In this case, we can actually use the complementary method whereby we take the total number of ways minus away the case whereby the two girls sit next to each other against the same wall. So in other words, we need to go and find out what is the number of ways for the two girls to sit next to each other first. So for these two girls to sit next to each other against the same wall, there are three possible ways of placing them against the same wall. Therefore, firstly, we have a three choose one there because we have three walls to choose from. And because they have to sit next to each other, suppose we look at this side of the wall whereby we have A, B and C over here. Essentially, there are two ways to place these two girls against this chosen wall. Okay, the reason is because they have to be seated next to each other so it's either A and B or B and C it can't be A and C because that will mean that they will be separated okay hence there's this value of 2 right here once we fix the position of these two girls suppose we put them at the seat A B we can still permit these two girls around therefore we need to multiply the 2 factorial here and last but not least, uh, the 7 factorial comes in when I already settled with the 2 girls and the remaining 7 girls, I can randomly place them on any of the seats. Therefore, there's a 7 factorial here. Right? So when we multiply all the values together, eventually we'll get 60480. Therefore, to answer the questions, I need to use the complementary method, which is the total number of ways 9 factorial minus away the total number of ways which we have just found the two girls sitting next to each other
so giving us 2400 